Hello, welcome yeah. to the AC Viking booth yeah. no, 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 at no, Anthrocom. We are presenting oh, here our new MediaMaster 2.0 yeah. together with the new video mapper extension. I will give you a short tutorial to show you how that the video mapper works and how that we do the setup of our boot. Yep. As you can see here, the interface of the new Media Master 3.0 is very familiar with the previous versions. Everything stays the same except for the output window that you can see on the bottom. As the same as the other versions before, you can install this new Media Master as well on your Mac as on your PC. When we go to the video mapper interface that we will show here, you will see it's a really user-friendly interface. On the left side, all the outputs will appear automatically. For example, here you will see that the interface screen is detected as well as our LED walls. The amount of outputs detected by the uh, video mapper are unlimited, so this will depend on the graphical cards that you are using. When you select an output, you will be able to set the resolution and choose the frequency that you want to use for that output. Now, if we have a take a closer look to our boot, you will see that we're using two 10 mm screens on the left and the right side of our boot. The center screen is a 6 mm screen that we will map in a minute. The left and right banners are already mapped in the video mapper software. And I will show you now how we can map on the center screen an easy switch. When we have a look at the software and we select the output LED in this case, you will be able to choose a rectangular or a triangular surface. In this case, we will go for a rectangular surface. Yeah, mine are and you will see inside the interface of the software that there is a surface with number 18 created. This surface will also appear live on the output, so that you can make sure that the surface you create fits perfectly with the shape of the projection or a blue wall that you are mapping. To map all of this, you can use as well the mouse as the uh, keyboard arrows. The combination Alt and the keyboard arrows will make your uh, size jump with 10 pixels or you can also jump with one tenth of pixels. Let's make sure that our grid is assigned perfectly to the video so that we can map and send video to this surface. When the surface is done, we can rename it. This name will appear also in Media Master and make sure we have the perfect integration. I will call this surface center for now and we can now continue to the Media Master to send as before. In the Media Master, for example, layer 1, we will send to the banners. We chose a visual for layer 1 and as you can see, the new part of the output here, you can say to which surface you want to send the content. In this case, I sent the content of layer 1 to the banner. Banner exists is a preset that I've created, including banner left and banner right. This means we send one visual to the left and to the right banner, and it's exactly the same content on these two banners. Now, for the surface we just created as a center, we will choose a visual that we will run on layer 2. And here, on the output, we can choose to jump around through all the different presets. We can jump a banner right, we can center, and here we will see the center, the most recent that we've made. On your output, you will see now that we have our layer 2 running on the center part of the screen. In this case, we see the banner and the center screen as different screens, but we can also work another way around and see all the different screens at one picture. Let's say we work with layer 3 to output uh, a visual on all the screens to see them as one big screen. How did we work around with this? You will see that I've created three surfaces that are exactly a copy of the first three I've created already. We have a center crop, a banner left crop and a banner right crop. These ones are, the position is exactly the same. What's the difference? The difference is that we use the cropping mode inside the video, video mapper to make sure that our center crop takes this part of the output, banner right takes the right part of the output, and banner left takes the left part of the output. By cropping inside the output of layer 3, you will see on the output that we create one big screen, even though the pixel pitch of the output is different. If you work around in the Media Master, for example, with layer 3, and we say, okay, let's make layer 3 transparent, 
you will see on the output perfectly what we have done. Layer 1 goes to banner left and banner right. Layer 2 goes to our center screen. And layer 3 goes to the complete output and we see it as one screen. This is just a small introduction of our video mapper. You will be able to do this with LED screens, with projection, or even a combination of those. Because our video mapper detects as well the LED walls as projector outputs, and you can crop on both different uh, outputs, you will be able to integrate everything in one big show. I hope this tutorial made all a little bit clearer. If you're interested, please go to our website for more information and try our demo.